Hello and welcome. Next, I like to give you information that why we have why we have in here different kind of fuses. And here is this car fuse box. And when I open that, we can check the what kind of fuses we have. And there, when we look in that area, we have fuses and relays. And now I am I am meaning those fuses and these parts and we can see that that there is different colors of uses and this uh, color color means that they are different different sides and that's okay and that color means that when i take that fuse like this yellow out it is it means that when I look that, there is always comment and symbol in there, and there is five. And five means that, that it is quite small fuse. And then there is next fuse in there, there is comment and text 30. And it means that it is a little bit bigger, and actually very big fuse in there. And that means that when those... Uh, Bigger fuse like this 30, they can handle more bigger electricity amounts. And that's, this is always important that we insert in these fuse boxes the same size fuse. And okay, and what happens if I insert that small 5 ampere fuse, that yellow one, in this 30 amperes slot? Normally it means that that when there is some big, big electricity motor or something component, this small fuse goes broken right away, immediately. And then what happens if I install this bigger 30, this green fuse, what is in here, this big fuse in this small yellow fuse line? What happens then if I think that this bigger fuse is better? Then happens so that if we have more uh, use in this our part, then this fuse, what is this big one, it don't work, and our component and this engine goes broken. Okay, and what is good example? We have excellent example that we have in here this horn. Horn is is this horn component. What is in, when we look in that area, we can also see those. There is our dashboard, actually this mask and grill. And here we have one and two horns in there. And what happens if I do so that when I, I know that horn fuse is that in this red one in here. And then when I take that away. I can see their text that 10, 10 is this, 10 ampere fuse is this size. And what happens if I think that I am so wise, novice car mechanic, that I install in there only this 5 amperes, amperes fuse. By the way, these are very small. And I install that 5 amperes in here, in that way. And what happens then? If I install in a smaller fuse than this standard 10 fuse, it happens so that this fuse goes really easily broken. Because there is so much power that this fuse goes broken. Okay, and that's I take that away. And then what happens if I think that I am so wise man or woman that I install in a little bit bigger like extra fuse, what is 30 ampere fuse in that way that I install in there and now I have three times bigger fuse than the standard amount. What happens then? Then happens interesting thing. When we have over this overloading in our horn system, it happens that this fuse don't go broken, but our car's horn, what is in here, that part, this part, this part in there, this goes broken, this horn.
And that means that then this horn is the fuse and this goes broken and our bigger fuse for this in here in that one this 30 ampere it is okay. And that's what is the les lesson to learn. The les lesson to learn is that use always the right side of uses and you can always check this right amount like in this Toyota car, in this covers, covers info map, what is in this other side of cover, or like cars, like Ford, Ford cars, and any other car brand. You can go to inside cabin area and take their this car's handbook and manual, and there is comment that what sides is fuses we need to use. And now I will show that how to install this back how, to, how I know that what is this fuse size in here I look my map and there is horn 10 ampere 10 ampere and this red one is 10 and then I install this red in back and then I press in I use my hand and this must be in deep and then what is that that fuse in here, I look my map, it is, it is this 15 ampere in there. Now I need to check that, yeah, this, there is 35, 5 goes in here, and next one is 30. And, and there is this 30, this is 30, this green, and it goes in that slot and then I press that in down and the final slot is in here and I check that what is this size it is 5 ampere and this yellow I check that is this yes there is 5 in that 5 number and then I press that in there deep ok and now final step is to install this cover back because these fuses are are sensitive. Okay. okay, and now, sorry, and now this work is done, and thank you for watching, and have a nice day to you.